Hello everyone, it's Rita, and today I am going to be working on a new um, journal. Actually, it's a folio. So, um, I love this kit. I came across this. It's um, Continent Twigs is the um, digital designer, and I believe it's called uh, Fresh Lemons um, Junk Journal. Anyway, um, yeah, the papers are, they're just so vibrant and so pretty, and I'm just going to flip through them real quick. I don't know, I should make a journal, but I'm going to make a, some part of a journal in the um, folio. But this is, and I did these on coffee dyed paper, which my printer didn't like so much, but, oh well, um, I wanted to use coffee dyed because I didn't want to cover the backs of them all in the same paper. This gives a variety. I mean, I have a black spot here, but hopefully that's something that will be hidden. And that's because my printer didn't like to go over it any kind of bumps. But we'll see if it works. If it doesn't, I can go back and do a different, just a regular piece of paper, regular parchment or something. Anyway, that is, um, the papers and then I'm not going to show all of this but here is the journal cards that are all cut I was fussy cutting and I did double side I mean I did um, a regular page and then I did two to a page so I have little smaller little tags and things and I don't know how much of it I'll be able to use or not but anyway that is all in the kit this one here um, I got from another kit, but it's, I can't really think of the name of it at the moment, but I will mention it again and uh, after I get her name. But this is something where you can just put uh, notebook paper, uh, you could put fabric, flip, uh, laces, book pages if you wanted to use it for something to tear off and for collaging, um, and then it just flips down like that and um, you know you can put a circle here to close it up so anyway I thought it was really kind of cool the way it looked so but that's not from that kit okay so let's see where we can go with this Let me put this away so it's lemon fresh lemons junk journal cotton and twigs okay All right, now this um, folder, this folio was, I saw on, it's called Relax Cut and Glue. I was looking at something totally different that has, actually it's about glue pages and stuff like that, um, collage, glue, uh, collage pages, and this um, came up, and I like the way that this folio is put together. It seems to be pretty easy. Now these um, here, uh, and you can use eight and a half by 11 cardstock. You need three pieces, which I just um, double-sided them. Do I have more than one? I think one doesn't have any on the, yeah, that one doesn't. Let me save that in case I need it for something else. So this um, design comes from Artie Mays and it's called Blue Tones. There's about maybe 10 or 15, maybe more than that, pages of just different things that are blue. So this one is on there too, but I like this little bit of gold because I think it looks nice with, let me just get a journal card out, uh, you know, with the, um, the blues and the yellows in this golden yellow okay so to start now you don't have to do both sides that's not the one I want Wait a minute. hold on maybe it missed a side oh I know I don't need one on this one because this one is going to be folded in half so you don't need to have the back of it done but these two you'll want double-sided so the thing is, is you don't need to have a file folder or a scrap of paper. It is on this size. 
you need cardstock, but it's eight and a half by 11. And that's why I watched her because I'm like, oh, you don't have to have a file folder. You know, we all make them out of file folders. All right, so um, I'm not sure which side is going to be up or down, and it doesn't matter because both these pages are going to be the same size. So here we're going to <clears throat> score at three inches. So if you want to stop and pause and get a paper, write these down if you'd like. Three inches, it's very simple. Nine. Try to see these. And nine and a half. Whoop. Cardstock's a little thicker than I thought. Maybe that one's not very good for this. I don't know. I'm just going to go over this again. It looks like it's putting a little bit of a deeper mark it right in camera. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this one. So we're going to do three. Nine. And nine and a half. Okay, so those get scored exactly the same. If you, I, you can't see it, but they're both exactly the same. This one is going to be just folded in half, so I'm going to score it at five and a half because it's uh, eight and a half by eleven. So we got the eleven inches going across this way. Actually, all of them are on the scoreboard in a vertical or a landscape. All right, now that gets folded like that. And we'll just set that to the side a minute. And that's all the scoring there is. Okay. Now, I don't really know if you want to do... Um, uh, you know, any rounding of the corners or that kind of thing, that would be up to you. So I'm just going to fold this page here. And then we have this little section here, which is going to be the, um, the spine. This paper I'm using is, uh, 80 pound or I think it's 216 GSM. I know that because the package said so. Um, so let me fold this one. And this. And this one or one of these will be, because they're both the same, will be uh, the flap on the cover. Okay, so I wasn't quite sure how this was going to look, but um, I, I didn't want to have to cover every single page, every single background. This kind of, to make, just to make it quicker, if you see what I'm saying. So now this will be something like that. All right, so now we have both these pieces together like this. This one and this one, they have a flap and then a flap. This one is going to get glued down to this flap right here. Um, No, I am going to, okay, I'm sorry. This is going to be a pocket. We're going to glue this and glue this. This one is also going to be a pocket, and we're going to glue it down to here. Okay, let me make sure I'm getting this correct. So then this is going inside of 
Oh, you know what? I did do that wrong. Darn. Because I changed the way it was that she did it. I don't want to do it that way. Okay, so what I want is to stick this inside. Then this will be glued down to be a pocket. And it will be glued down to here. And then this will be plain. So I'll just um, fix that with one of the pages. I'll just cover this. Okay? So I hope it's not too confusing. So we have our two three inch flaps here and then we have um, the one whole page is going to go inside on the three inch flap here and then that will be glued down so let me make a notch in here so you know these things are always just so confusing all right, so let's find the middle of this one, which is four and a quarter. So that would have a notch there. Okay. And then this one will have a notch. Four and a quarter. I'm doing it on the side because I don't have my mat up. It's um, it was really full of ink and stuff, so I was soaking it for a while. Okay. So that way. <clears throat> Let me show you this um, on a my example. So see we have this page. Now I've got this all um, stuck down with paper clips. And then see here's your spine and then this is the part that we're going to glue to page two which is um, this page. The back of this page. And this page will flip over. Okay that helps. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to ink a little bit. So I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm doing as good as I can. I'm feeling better. I decided to um, change my diet, which I did, uh, gosh, I don't know, um, a couple years ago, I just, um, I didn't go on a diet. I, I refused to go on a diet because it doesn't work. But what I did was change my f foods that I ate. Okay, so that's that, that's that. Now, you can cover these with whatever you wanted. So if you wanted to take one of the pages from the kit or any kit that you might have and and cover this first on all these especially if you don't want to print on cardstock um, and this is the cardstock that I get online from Amazon I don't know how much of this is going to be inked I should put you on pause or I'll run out of time let me just quickly quickly It. And I'm back to my tattered twigs ink. I've got more of it. Okay. Turned it upside down. It's like that wasn't the way it was. Okay, I'm gonna ink this so you can see it. Okay, I'm running off the page. Okay, 
okay see this is where our spine is um and if you want and your cardstock is not maybe strong enough you could put an extra piece of cardstock in here or just um, after you make it you can add another but you could add fabric to it before you glue this down or you could add tape to it um, I am going to put some pages in here but they're not a lot so at least I don't think I am okay so let's glue this section the PV, PVA glue. I don't need too much of it. Okay. And then I'm going to turn this this way. Oh, I don't know if that's going to help. Let's turn it this. Oops. Close our whole thing. All right, so I'm going to lay this down, try to get these edges even, and make sure that there's enough folding room. Okay. I don't know how far away you can go or how close, but at least enough to be able to close this without any issues. All right, now... Here, this is going to go in here like that. I don't know if these are right or wrong. Let me see. Hmm. I mean, because of, of the design in the. Go that way, I only have to deal with. No, I still have to deal with two pages that are white. Um, and the same with that one. I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to go print the back of this. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I inked um, this and then I just printed um, the other side of this so when I put this in here uh, it will have this in the middle it'll go over like this okay I think I've got this figured out <laughs> okay so now I'm going to glue these pockets closed and on this one here, I'm going to go right along the edge here as well to catch that, this page that's going in there. So there's all kinds of different things you can do with this as, as I think about it, but I think this, whoops, feels like the easiest for me. All right, so we're gonna line this up along the edge see the edge and then put it inside here but not totally on the fold okay So that makes that, and then we've got this to do, and, and this we can pop, I mean, uh, journal cards or whatever, and we can do decorate on here, we can do something on here, and something back here. But this, well, this one we're going to put another pocket. Yeah. So on this one, I'm only just going to glue down these edges. My camera. Okay, so now our folio is made. Oops, make sure it dries. So now we have.
have a pocket here, a pocket here, a place here to embellish pockets or whatever. And in here we'll just put um, a journal card or something like that. And then we can embellish here and here, here. And I just like that, that um, you know, you could do a plain background. You could use colored cardstock and, and then take your papers from the kit. Let's see. I was just going to fold this up so you could see. So this would come like this, and this will come over. You see? And you have your little stuff inside there. Like that. That's cute. Now I have a half inch that I can work with. <laughs> to. So if you wanted to, and I was planning to do maybe covering a whole page, but I don't think so. I think the only page I'm going to cover is this front page. I have to cut this down a little bit if I want that bird on front. And I really do like that bird. And... That's not the front, is it? No. Wait a minute. Here we go. Hey guys. Where am I? Okay. Here's the front, right? Yes. I guess you could have it folded out that way or this way. It doesn't matter. Okay. So here's the front. So I think this would look pretty on the front. Um, just cut it down a little bit and then I think I can put that on the back. Or we could do... Now they all have lemons in it. Or we could do this flower. I think I like the bird in the front. So I'm going to rip this down. We know that this is actually, you don't know, let me see what it is. It is six inches across and it is eight and a half down. So let's see where. I think we're only going to have to take off the top. Okay, so it's the problem when I rip an edge, I've got to rip all the edges, right? So yesterday, um, after, boy, I ripped that crooked, oh, hmm, I wonder what I could put up there, maybe I can just add lace there, this will come over, actually this will come over and kind of hide the bird, I suppose. Okay, I'm going to rip this off. I get these lines here. So yesterday, um, I was finished for the day in here working, and I went to turn the light off by my back door, and there was this, I thought was a dog, Um, as it turned out, it was a fox, because I googled it. Um, 
I Googled it because I thought it was a special breed of a dog because it looked like a dog. But you know how dogs, I mean, um, it looked real skinny and kind of mangy looking. So I put it on, um, I checked it on Google and it said it was this special kind of fox, a phoenix fox, but it wasn't actually, I think. Now, I don't think it was, but I did. I'm looking for a piece of something. Oh, let me get my mat out. So, um, I hope that doesn't show too much. So right away I called my neighbors, you know, because they have the roosters and ch chickens and goats, dogs and cats. And I was worried because as I was little and we were on a farm, uh, you know, the fox would attack our chickens and pigs. And my dad would be out there chasing them down with a shotgun. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to glue that on there. And so I called my neighbors right away and told them there was a fox out in the yard. I said, you better go check the chickens. By the time he went there, you know, he ran out and texted me back and he says, I see feathers. And then I didn't hear from him for a little bit. And then he texted me back again and said, lost one rooster and six chickens. That, you know, the fox killed him. I don't think the fox did any more than that, just killed him. So, that's sad. All right, let's see. Let me look at this. I'm doing this so I can get this on here straight. Enough. I think I'm going to have to put something on this to keep it from flipping. Um, in fact, I was thinking earlier I may need to cut this down a little bit so that I can slip it into uh, something over here. I'm not crazy about that, but I'll fix it somehow. Okay, and this is the back, and this is where we glued it on, and that's not going to show because I'm going to cover it. And even if it did show, it wouldn't look that bad if you were um, Okay, so this one Let's see if I can rip it the same <laughs> So part of the reason that I didn't, um, that I um, printed on the cardstock was because I just didn't really want to cover every single page. Um, because I want this to be faster than, you know, because I've got other journals I want to start. I'm about ready to start um, fall. And 
you know, Hobby Lobby can do it, so can I. <laughs> Just that, you know, I have to actually make it, you know, where Hobby Lobby has already got it on the shelves. But I did find one packet of the leaves that I always get there. And they're little tiny, um, almost silk plant-like leaves. And um, there was only one in the whole store. So I think a lot of people buy those for crafting. So the minute the fall stuff comes out, which I was there the, when they were putting it out, and I looked and looked, and, and I asked them about it, and they said, well, you know, well, come back. It could be here next week. You know, they get new stuff every week. But I didn't get back in time. Okay. It's amazing how. Okay. I should just draw a line or something. Hmm. That's a little too high, too. Okay, well. By the time you get, you know, to decorating most of this, the problems that you had are gone. All right. So the only thing I'm not happy about is the way that this is flopping open. If I put anything on it, it's even going to be heavier. So I think I'm going to take... Just some of this off and make a closure. If I had thought of it before, I could have put a magnet in there. And if I was going to cover this, I could have put a magnet here. But I can't. So I'm just going to fold it open, get my cutter. Gonna take off a half inch. Okay. And that way I have this. Now I can put a closure on it. I'm not going to put the journal part in today because I'm not sure yet on what pages I want to use. So let's see, what can we do? Um, 
I'll probably put, you know, like a journal card in here, envelope. We could also do a flip, which I don't have envelopes out at the moment. Um, and I do not believe this kit came with envelopes. You know, sometimes they have a, the little envelope, but I don't think it did. So that's too long for that. there. Hmm. I kind of wanted to put I think I was thinking of a, a waterfall type thing that might be good on this one because this will be down so that could be a pocket, but I don't think it would be very much fun. <laughs> I mean, this would be too easy, right? Hmm. I might have to give this a little bit more thought. nice if it was all cut out. So I'm wondering if I want to put more papers behind this just because See, I don't like to cover them up when they're so pretty like this. I just don't like covering it. So, let me hold off on that. I think I'm going to fussy cut that, and that'll make a cute little pocket here. And um, on this side, I was thinking of... Um, well, maybe I'll do it on this side. I was thinking of a waterfall, but I would have to do some more. Um, where did that come from? I would have to do some more fussy cutting. I mean, um, do some more cardstock stuff. So even if I, I was wondering, can I do a waterfall? Um, where the, the pieces are not the same size. Like, that would go there, maybe one here. Okay, so, and then of course this one would have to come up and be under that one. And then, That's the same one. Hmm. Okay, so that get that flipped up. I guess all I can do is put them uh, just keep going until I fill them up, right? But I think that, you know, so when you flip them over, there would be journaling space. Okay. I don't know if I have enough time to do this. Probably not. This one had a lot of jaggedy edges. A lot of them I just cut it away because they look too 
perfect. Um, I don't know. This has got something on the background. I must have printed something very light. I don't, I don't see anything on that. Huh. All right. So I could um, score this or I can attach um, a hinge on it. Yeah, but if I score it. It'll cut, you know, that part would be underneath. So I think I'm going to try a hinge. So let me get a piece of... This might work as part of a hinge. Let's see that out. All right, let me get this cut nice and straight across here. And then I'll do, I'm gonna do three quarters of an inch and fold that in half. Let's do another three quarters. top so that would go like that um I better just do it with glue so I'm gonna use a glue stick sure this is the right direction. Let's see. Alright, so if I glue that there, and then the next one will be glued right up to that. Right? So forth.
if they're not going to be the same size, so that means this is going to be showing different links. If it doesn't work, I can rip it off and glue a piece of paper over the top of it. Because I've never done this, but I don't know, maybe it would work. All right, I'm going to get a ruler because the first one you have to have it nice and straight. So let's just start with the half inch down. I don't particularly care for that ruler, but I don't see my other one handy. Okay. Now let's put this big one. I don't know if that makes sense or, or not. And then I think, oops, that that will be enough for this video. I was thinking too that you know I was hoping I would get some different glasses but um, I'm probably not going to prescribe reading glasses for me. I don't know if this needs inked or not. Alright. So would this one be right like that? For some reason, this doesn't look straight. Okay. So I can bring it a little bit like this, and that way. been done a waterfall in a long time so I'm not even sure how that goes. Okay. Okay, there's one and two. Okay, let's do if I did a smaller one here. Let's see how that would look. what would look better it doesn't I don't like this color so much Ink. And 
can't remember which part goes up, so the folding side goes that way. Right? So I guess you could go as far as you want, as long as it doesn't hang out past the bottom. It's kind of cute. Now this one may not, would not probably show because it's too small. Hmm. Thought it would be kind of nice that each piece would show from the bottom but um, as we go along it's going to be okay thinking since i don't have it even i mean it's not that I could do them anywhere. Okay, so that one's got one, and that one has got one, and that one has one. So I'm going to do another one here, but I'm not going to put it all the way to the top. I'm going to move it down a little bit. Might look better if I had used like washi tape. This is the last one. So. I think that's cute. I just don't like this. 
Um, so I might get washi and try to cover that. Let me just see what, I don't probably have anything handy. lemons. I think this is the one that started me off on this. I took it off the roll and I put it on this um, DMC floss holder thing because these rolls take up so much room. I was trying to I was trying to save um, some space. a little bit different color blue, but I don't think it's going to make a difference. Okay, I'm not going to do that all right now, but that's kind of the gist of it. guys think that looks cute. I'm just worried about it popping up like this so um, in the end I always seem like I have to tie something on or maybe just one paper clip would be enough. I'm like where is it? Okay. Yeah, so maybe, see how, anyway, that's going to happen. But one, you know, paper clip up here is going to stop that. From, should stop it from falling out too much. All right, guys, so I'm going to go, because I'm sure now it's, um, oh, yep, almost an hour. <laughs> Time just flies. But anyway, I hope you guys um, are going to like this. I think it's cute. And it'll be fun. We'll see what next, the next video, how much I can get in here. And then I'm going to put these pages in here. I know I'm going to go. I'm gonna put these pages in here along with maybe... Um, some plain ledger pages or something. Okay. Because um, I might be able just to make like journal cards out of these. I'm sorry. I'm thinking and talking at the same time. Oh. But see, these are going to be so I could just fold that in half and just make another writing page but stick it in here okay thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video bye